First, uh, you need to purchase a Redis instance uh, on Alibaba Cloud. Let's do it. Redis console and create instance because the ECS are in a Japan region. So we choose Japan and Tokyo ACA. As you can see, there are three types of uh, architecture you can choose from. We'll go through deep on this to introduce the differences the other time. Now uh, we just choose a standard master replica instance. Still, I believe you might have uh, demands for migrating your standalone Redis to sharding architectures because uh, sharding is not that easy to maintain as standalone, right? Then cluster would be what you need. Set the password. Instance name. Star. Redis. And one more thing, we need to check the uh, Redis version. Is it also Redis 5.0? Okay, log on to the ECS. And uh, write this client. Yeah, uh, this is Redis 5.0. Log out. And then next. Let's go back to the console. Switch to Tokyo region. And you will see the uh, instance is being creating. And uh, it may take a little while before it's ready. Once the target instance is running, create a database account for migration. Please notice that the account should with uh, read and write permission. Click the instance, account management, and create. Read and write. Here we create a user named Redis and set the password to Redis. One, two, three, four. Redis. Add one, two, three, four. Okay. As you can see, uh, we just created a new account named Redis and it's now available. Okay, uh, this instance uh, must be empty right now because it's new, right? I wouldn't mind log on and check the uh, data. Uh, here are many ways to connect to the uh, Redis instance. I will introduce two ways I really use. One is using DMS and the other is through Redis client. I will show you both. Uh, for DMS connecting, you only need to click uh, log on to database on Redis console and you will uh, manage to do so after a few clicks. Click and uh, we use the user we just created Redis. For your first time, uh, there will be a prompt to notice you to configure the whitelist. Just click the exist and try again. Practice. Practice. Okay, uh, we just uh, into the database. Uh, let's do a simple query in for key space. We have no keys in this database right now. The other is Redis client and the endpoint is required in this case. 
the internal endpoint is enough if you are connecting from uh, ECS in the same region. If not, uh, then you need to apply for a public endpoint. Click uh, Instance, and you will see the uh, endpoints uh, listed here. This is the internal endpoint, and this is a public uh, endpoint. Uh, if you are running Redis on premise and you want to migrate to the cloud, then you should uh, apply for a public endpoint. Okay. Besides, you also need to do some configuration on whitelist settings. What you need to do? You should add the Redis client IP address into the uh, allow list. Here, because we are using uh, ECS uh, Redis client to uh, test the Redis connection, so we need to add the uh, ECS internal IP address and uh, public IP address into the allow list. OK, uh, now. ECS public and also it's ECS private better to uh, check after logging okay Then this is the IP address. Check here. After the uh, network configuration is done, continue to use ECS uh, and uh, use Redis client to connect to the uh, Redis instance. Use private endpoint dash p 6379 os Redis Redis Yeah, connected. Let's see how many keys right now. Empty. And we use we change to another command in for key space. It's also empty. Okay, uh, as you can see, it's clear and empty. Then go to DTS console and create migration task. DTS console. Click data migration and choose region for your uh, target instance. Uh, in this case, our uh, target Redis is in Japan region. So we switch to Tokyo and uh, click Create Migration Task. As you can see, there are only four steps to uh, finish the task. Uh, we start from the first one, Config Source and Destination Databases. Uh, give the task our name, Redis Migration. Then choose the uh, source database. It's in Japan and uh, choose the source, Redis IP address. This is an IP address. And uh, password test oh you may fear for network reasons let's check all field uh, redis client and connect may cost by uh, unappropriate redis configurations 
and for uh, Ping and Telnet, maybe because the uh, whitelist of the ECS, uh, I mean the uh, source Redis. Uh, okay, let's get IP search meant of DTS server, copy, and add it to the uh, whitelist. Security groups. Add security rule. It was failed because uh, we don't have permission to connect to the uh, Redis right now. So we need to uh, set it to 6379. It's a port of Redis. And then uh, log on to the ECS to check the configurations uh, of Redis. Redis conf. Please take special attention to this line. Do not set your Redis server to only accept connections from local host. So you need to uh, move this line out. Okay, let's comment out. And another configuration uh, related to connection will be uh, protected mode. Please change the protected mode from yes to uh, no to allow connection from public IPs. Then restart the service. Now let's try again. It passed this time. And then uh, connect to the target. Turkey region and uh, password. Redis. Test. Check. Invalid password. So uh, we may have the wrong password. Check now. Redis. Check again. Yeah, it passed. The password in the uh, account should be uh, in this format. Okay, next. Select the uh, types and the objects to migrate. We select all database. And you can choose from full data migration, increment uh, data migration, or you can do both. Now we only choose full data migration. Pre-check. All passed. Next. Take special attention to this channel specification. Small, media, large, x large, and 2x large. It means the speed uh, of your migration task. We are doing full migration, so we choose this uh, this one. If you are doing full data migration, uh, when the task finished, uh, then it's done. But uh, if you enable incremental migration, you need to click to stop the task after data confirm. It's finished now. Okay, let's log on to the AppSerDB for Redis and do a manual double check. Redis. Log on to the database. And now, execute in for key space. It's not uh, empty anymore. We have five keys in the database. And how about to list We already have the keys. Remember, summer is a, a string type. Ranks 
uh, is a Z set, and comments for post one is a list, and car is a hash, fence is a set. Let's do more queries to see if the values are correct. Get summer. It's a string type and uh, each get all car. Yeah, already have the values in the L range uh, common for post one. It's a list. Yeah, already have all the comments. We do one more. Yeah, already have all the values. Okay. Uh, this is all for today. Uh, if you are running Redis cluster on premise and seeking a way to migrate, you can also use DTS. Uh, I will uh, post the link in the description. Hope you enjoyed the whole thing. Thank you very much, and I will see you next time. Bye.